because unfortunately these quakes don't show up in uh, uh, most of the maps here. Now this one we had on the 28th is 2.4. On the 28th, 2.4, whereas uh, here it's shown as a 3.2. So what's going on here? Okay, 2.4 on the 28th. 39 people claim feeling it. This is the same quake here at 3.2 magnitude. So it's a, a big difference as you can see. And let's see if we have the map here. And going to the aerial. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. Okay, here we are. And we see that it's the same earthquake that we have here as a 3.2, whereas USGS has it as a much smaller one as a 2.4. Uh, so let's go here. This is it. It's right next to the Finger Lake regions of upstate New York. I used to live there in Ithaca, New York before you know, on the transition between Canada and the United States up to going back to uh, New York City. And um, that's where Cornell is. So this is the Finger Lakes region. And um, pulling out, we have another one here a few days before at 2.2. Again, upstate New York. This time it was the other side of the Finger Lakes, right on a river, as we can see, south of Watertown. And the other one that we saw was in another area of a creek. We can see it much better here. Okay, let's go to the, uh, there it is, it's at Cache Qua Creek. And most of these, you know, creeks and rivers, of course, are fault lines, as we know. Rivers and creeks are fault lines. It doesn't have any historic seismicity. Did you feel it? Okay, tectonic plates again. As we said, rivers and creeks are fault lines. Okay, these are the Finger Lakes. Let's go back, topography. Okay, and going back a little bit more, you'll see that the other one has not been shown, the one that, that's uh, just south of uh, Watertown, this one here. Is it okay? Sorry about that. Watertown, right there. This is the Canadian map, and then we have the other ones in Maine. As we know, Maine, here we are in Maine. One, two, three. I think this one is not Maine, this one is a New Brunswick. Okay, but this one here 2.4 shallow depth, five kilometers, about three miles down, and then we have this one here 2.2. And this one here at 2.0. And the main earthquakes that here are shown are this one here, just 1.1, Perry, Maine. And Perry, we know Perry, Maine has a, um, an old, very old uh, volcano, uh, volcano. Maine has volcanoes. There are about five volcanoes in a 100-mile radius. And... Uh, it comes from the, basically, I think from the direction of the, I think we can see it better here, from the undersea, uh, undersea volcanoes, the seamount volcanoes right there. There are 30 volcanoes under there, and they seem to be stretching into Massachusetts and Maine, okay, this way here. So we even had one in Montreal, 1.8. But this one here was... Um, it says 2.4, uh, I don't think, well, 39 people said they, that they felt it. And let's go to the areas here. Most of North America has infrequent earthquakes, uh, but uh, in New Madrid seismic zone and the Cherlevoix, Camarusca seismic zone, east of Quebec, New England, New York, Philadelphia, Wellington, urban corridor. But most of the enormous regions of the, from the Rockies to the Atlantic can go years without an earthquake large enough to be felt. Well, this one was felt. And earthquakes here in this area are less, less frequent than the West and typically felt over a much broader region. 
you can feel, feel earthquakes um, for magnitude in eastern central north america 10 times more than uh, you could feel them on the worst on the uh, west coast uh, they talk here about induced seismicity but we're not going to talk about man-made earthquakes we're going to talk about the um uh the, the great lakes okay and this area of the new madrid seismic zone which would be called the new madrid rift zone and this is a rift valley actually that's a failed rift valley but you can know we can see that notice that from uh, areas for example from let's go back this way mississippi river up to here it goes and this area here, the Great Lakes, that one, the St. Lawrence River, that's, that's a rift area right there. Okay, that's it right there. And you can see some historic seismicity here as well. And uh, this area here around Montreal, Quebec, that's um, an, an ancient supervolcano. But here, the Great Lakes, is a mantle plume that's about 900 million years old. So and nobody talks about that mantle plume. There's magma under there. Under there but nobody knows where that magma source is coming from. It could be a hot spot, we don't know, but that's very ancient. And um, let's go see, let's go to the geodesy, see what's happening there. Go towards, uh, look at, this is all the GPS stations showing us what's going on. And um, let's go in again. New York, upstate New York, and a little bit closer. Okay, upstate New York. Jamestown, these are the Finger Lakes. Okay, uh, let's go here. Canandaiga. Canandaiga, or should we go here? Let's go Canandaiga. Okay, what's happening there? Okay, this is going east. Sorry, uh, west. And it's going north. So this is going northwest. This area is uh, directing itself northwest, and uh, it's inflating all over the place. Northwest, let's go to another one, because this is a very soft area, as we know. Let's go to uh, this one here. Okay, this is much a be much better one. This is going west. If it were going up, it would be going east. This is going west, and it's going north northwest again. And uh, it seems to be deflating, but it's going northwest. It's going northwest. Let's go take the one around uh, uh, Syracuse. Okay. Let's go see that one. Okay, that again is going northwest, and it's pretty steady. So they're going sort of nor northwest. Let's take the other one from uh, on the north of Lake Ontario, Kingston, Ontario. That's not good. Let's take another one. Okay, that again is going very fast northwest. This is the uh, from 2012. You can see, and sort of a little, a little bit lately. Lately, it's inflating, it's, but they're basically going northwest. Um, should we go to Maine? Let's go to Maine. See what's happening in Maine. Maine. Okay, let's go to Perry, Maine, which was around here. Okay, that again is going northwest. And that's steady, northwest. All this is going northwest. Let's go to this one. Everything is going northwest, pretty steady. It's going northwest. Okay, so we could see, and this one here, again in Maine, northwest, and very slight inflation. Um, so it's going northwest. Let's see what's happening around the north. We know that this is really, uh, okay, that's going southwest and really inflating i wanted to show you the north uh, northern territories because i know i knew you'd see a lot of inflation up here what's happening there what is happening let's take another one we know that there are a lot of kimberlite volcanoes in this area let's go here let's, okay that's going southwest and it's inflating so okay so if we have this going what is going on here? Okay. So we just saw, it's going very fast. So this is going southwest, and this is going northwest. We just saw this from the GPS stations. Okay. I should, I should study a lot more about what's happening 
in the Northern Territory, but hardly anybody lives out there. Okay, so I just want you to know that uh, New York State and Maine is having earthquakes. Uh, so all of you there, please be very careful. Okay, and the, even though they have this as a 2.4, Canada has it as a has it as a 3.2 magnitude. Okay, in New York, the same position. Please be very careful and alert, and please leave your comments, and thank you for your support.